Cheryl Cruz speaking out for the first time about how her 20 years State Department career was cut short by a mysterious illness, the Havana syndrome. I started with the vertigo and the tinnitus and brain fog. I could actually feel my brain shutting down, like it just, everything kind of went black. She is among more than 200 State Department personnel and CIA officers afflicted around the world. Many still feel ignored. I do not believe the department took me seriously. It was always, we'll get back to you. I have to ask myself, are they trying to disprove us or are they trying to prove what happened? And in Canada, 27 diplomats, military police and family members are suing their government over incidents in Cuba. Who's responsible? Attention is focused on Russia, which U.S. intelligence says has the global reach and technology experts suspect could be the cause. In November, CIA Director Bill Burns warned Moscow there would be repercussions if it's behind it. All of us at the State Department and across the U.S. government are intently focused on getting to the bottom of what and who is causing these incidents. Tuesday night, Secretary of State Blinken visited doctors at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, where CIA officers and State Department personnel are being treated. A lot of suspicion is placed on Russia. They've denied it. We know that this is something that's been widespread, and we will keep at it until we find who's responsible, and we will hold whoever it is accountable. A new law requires the government to compensate victims for qualifying brain injuries. Still to be determined, what qualifies as a brain injury? And many of these victims are disabled, unable to work. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.